and welcome everybody to Magic on the Play TV. My name is Nick and as always I'm hosting a Magic the Gathering video for you guys today. Today's session is going to be about Live the Dream Cube by David McDarby and David White. And as a special guest I invited nobody else than Magic legend Jonathan Brostov let me introduce to you. As well as having big success in Standard, bringing up articles, deck guides and having uncountable trophy leads on Magic Online, Jonathan is known for his dedication to Cube Draft. He takes every chance to contribute to the Cube community, taking part in podcasts, here for example with John Terrell, and has won the $10,000 Star City Games Cube Draft competition. In the meantime, he's a dedicated politician showing folks where the taxpayers' money is supposed to be spent on education, for example. We have a champion! Uh, I'm very, very honored to have uh, my special guest for today's show, for tonight, which is Jonathan Brostov. Hello, Jonathan. I'm honored. Hey, it's an honor to be here. Thanks, Nick. How are you? Hey, I'm good, man. How are you? All things are well. I have uh, two little guys now, so that's been a lot of fun. But How old are they? I have a... Um, actually, he's turning two tomorrow. Ooh. Is one of my sons, my oldest son, Boaz. And then my second son, Barack, is turning... Six months uh, next month. Did you, did you get some sleep? <laughs> no, I, definitely no? not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we were actually teaming up yesterday for a little pre-session. And I just wanted to showcase real quick. We did some um, Timur or like more Gruel flicker kind of mid-range deck uh it was a lot of fun to a lot of fun to draft it of course he didn't get to play it um but today is gonna be the day and also um just real quick the cube list is here for the live the dream cube that we're gonna do today so i think without any further ado we can jump into a league absolutely let's do it it's already 5 30 in the morning oh my gosh <laughs> but i had a fresh pot <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any proverbs from your country? Like, uh, the early bird catches the worm? Ah, yeah, the early bird catches the worm, yeah. And, uh, Morgenstund hat Gold im Mund. That means if you, uh, wake up in the early morning hours, uh, you, you have gold in your mouth. Ooh! Yeah. I like it. I like it. I love proverbs. Yeah, me too. And it's, it's really proverbs. interesting in, in, in the different languages also, mm -hmm. that they are sometimes the same. That's pretty fascinating for me. Totally. All right, so what do we want to draft here? Hmm, I would be on a straightforward deck now. Maybe something okay. that, that really can curve out. Okay, so maybe let's try like a load of the, like a white blue blink deck. Be good for that. Yeah. White black value. Or like really so, gruel beatdowns. Yeah, gruel would be good. Yeah. That would be nice. Let's take it. Let's, let's make a plan for that. Um, so. About first picks, Jonathan, what do you think? Like, do you go for for like just the best card in the pack? Or do you go for max potential? Or do you go for max efficiency? It really just depends how I'm feeling in the moment. Gotcha. Um, sometimes, you know, I want to... I, I just like having fun. I think the best part of Cube is how much fun it can be. And sometimes I want to go for like, oh, I just did two controlly decks. Let's do one that's like a Dirtle mid-range deck or... I just did something that has five colors. Let's do a three color deck or whatever. So it's just whatever I'm feeling. That makes um, sense. But this, yeah, this is interesting. Mm, I'm looking at the prime. We have a prime even. time. Yeah. Hard to turn that down. Yeah. Why not just take really slam the prime time? It's just slam such a it. good card. Let's such go a good ahead. card. Other cards to consider maybe? Uh, Resto Angel's quite good. Especially if you're doing a blink strategy. Stuffy Doll is part of that combo. Um, Yurion also for the blink. I think Yogmoth is pretty underrated and probably really good in this, although I've not played it yet. Crater Maker is surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. Just the flexibility of disruption and being able to blink artifacts. Okay. Stomping ground. So if we're doing a straightforward thing, should we just take the Gilded Goose and try oh, to yeah. keep try to get as much ramp as we can and just ramp and stamp? I really like that. I really like that approach. Count me in for that, for sure. Okay. Other cards I'm looking at would be the Stomping Ground, actually. Mm -hmm. Mana Confluence is, like, mm -hmm. pretty solid. It's less painful than the City. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. So let's go it's for not the every time it taps. Also, the, the Devils are really mentionable. Yeah, Devils are great in this format, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, Mirren's, so, like, quite good. Um, Signet's also pretty good. 
maybe not um, not so much the boar although the boar is actually interesting too yeah the boar is hot five mana for six six tramples always worth mentioning knight of autumn is interesting it's got some disruption elements that are really helpful being able to like bink there for example o-ring or their signet like i said for the blink deck seek it or clone and obviously the most powerful card is elish norn um that's worth mentioning i yeah let's yeah what are you feeling hmm i guess knight of autumn I, I think... is just a better card right or what do you say yeah let's take the knight let's take the knight of autumn it's kind of hurts the to cast the war <laughs> whatever you want to do um uh, now we get the pia and kieran mm. yeah this is very good with the hog I actually feel I actually feel like red, but like maybe Naya could be a good place to be in. Could do Naya, and and also a Knight of Autumn doesn't you know we're not beholden to anything. We can be flexible here, and we can just read the room. Uh, P and Care is very good. Fight with Fire is not terrible. Well, the Planeswalker is interesting. What um, do you think? Sure, let's take the P and Care and lean into the Gruel a little bit. Okay. I mean, also the we have, very we have good. the Gilded Goose already, so. Right, right. Which is another artifact you can sack with P and Karen. And plus it helps with the two green with the two red. The yeah. Two color specific. Oof. Well, it's a lot of goodies in here. I'm partial to the auto generator, but the fang is pretty good if we're going gruel. Especially with P and Karen, it gets even better. Okay, let's go for it. Let's just let's just take the beef and see where this gets us. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> let's get that Knight of Autumn in the in the sideboard for now. All right, let's go. And let's focus on just a, a beefy gruel yeah, beat down. That, that sounds great for me. Ooh, okay. Blue Signet? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Perfect. Well, this guy, when a, a warrior attacks, you may have its controller create tap and attacking. Hmm. Card's really good. It's not. It's it's like a less good rabble dabble, hmm. but I think gruel signet's the pick still. All right, yeah. We want to just ramp and clamp. That's straightforward, just the way I like it. <laughs> right. Um, exactly. Looting is great. Also, the lives, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, parallel lives good with Pia. Um, Bayou might be a consideration too. There might be a fetch land we can get that makes it good. Let's take Bayou just in case. Yeah, why not? Also, there were some great Golgari cards in the packs, and maybe we can wield those. Yeah. Like John Stompy. And that looks like a beefy start. Yeah, the Frostfang is is Frostfang is a quietly really good card. Mm -hmm. Um, especially if you have like stuff that can generate tokens, flyers. But even if it just you know even just a little bit of value off it goes a long way. But conversely, its upside like its its ceiling is super high. Being able to just you know ban just being able to turn after turn draw so many cards and plus like if we're red you know hopefully we'll have a suite of removal let's see if red is um any open here it seems like black is a little bit more open though true hmm. you know i love me a fabled elder well we could still do this yeah let's take the fable elder just in case this guy doesn't seem so great it's a four three flying uh, hexproof like lifelink is really good, but it's double black. I mean, we have the Bayou. True. Sure. Let's go for this line. Ooh. Ooh okay. So Gruul seems to be fine. Wait, what's that card again? Um, it's a hammer that you can unattach, deal three any target. So kind of a okay four mana three damage engine, and it deals is four mana four five that deals excess damage to. Other I think we want just the crater maker here. Yeah, that seems pretty just go, good. Yeah, just have we we want some artifact kill. Some yeah, really can curve out pretty smoothly. Ooh, there's those devils you're talking about. Yeah, let's oh, go devil. for it, right? Yeah, I like cards it. very good, especially if we can get some burn. Um, it gets even better, but also just like randomly, your opponents are gonna have like cool, silly stuff. And... Oh, it came around. Ooh, there you go. It's so spicy. What does this do? Review top seven, choose among cards. Ah, okay, that's that's this card. Mm -mm. So let's go for this. Take that, take that pig. Tibbles. I don't Tibble. even know what that card does. That card has too much text. <laughs> I know it like lets you cast Emrakul somehow, but okay. So Automator made it back. I guess we'll take the goggles, but Automator's really good. Yeah. I guess we'll take goggles because we're green and or we're red and we're. Ooh, nice, that's nice. We'll send a signal. 
that card gets better with our our, our uh, fast fang as well. Grizzly salvage, okay, that could be playable. Okay. Hmm. Fauna shaman, Ugin, shriek maw. I don't hate the immortal sun. That's also pretty right? nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. And that four three that gains control of creatures is pretty good too. That would fit the plan actually pretty good, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that the mortal sun like the mortal sun is pretty solid, but I don't know if it's maybe too slow also a little bit. Yeah, I mean being able to give all your creatures plus one plus one is relevant as well. Uh, also, yeah, true. It's like it does a lot of stuff. Yeah, I like the immortal sun here. Sure, let's go for it. We're not. Just being able to knock out their planeswalkers is huge. And maybe the, the crew has a chance to come around also. Mm hmm For sure. Yeah, Dismember is worth considering. Oh, absolutely. Clears the path so our creatures can run. And we got the Bayou already. Yeah, let's take that Dismember. Marsh, marsh Flats also in the pack, but let's take the Dismember. This, this, like, this looks pretty, pretty nice to pilot. Ooh. Wow. Legion War Boss. Ooh, Legion War Boss, yeah. Nice. That's a troublemaker. Yeah. When another non token creature enters the battlefield, you may pay two. Hopefully, can wield this Gramble Sovereign. This looks pretty yeah. solid. Either one of those green cards is pretty good for us. <clears throat> and so is the Signet. Signet's worth considering as well. Mm -hmm. But I think War Boss is just so good. And plus, we have um, Frost Fang and we have Immortal Sun that both also make it even better. So, oh, yeah. Happy with that. Looking forward to play that. Hmm, Primal Might seems fine. Yeah, Primal Might's not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's oh, us, yeah. uh, like that. It's also really good with War Boss and the second War Boss because just being able to clear the way early can sometimes be game in this format. Yeah, this cube is the Live the Dream cube, and mm -hmm. I f really feel like living a dream here. I'm living the fast red green dream. That's right, we're living the, the gruel dream. What's something gruel dream is about? Just smashing and dashing. And yeah. Like destroying artifacts of other cultures and stuff. It's violent <laughs> dreams, but it's it's nice dreams. <laughs> yeah. There's violent reverie. <laughs> but like that's something to consider as well. Um mm -hmm. I basically put these two creatures as like almost as like three mana planeswalkers. The war boss and the other war boss because what i mean by that is and this is something for every cube um and it's actually a little bit less than this cube than normal but anything that's able to especially for three mana or less every turn generate value for free for, for no mana so a card that takes over the game on its own if it sticks right right and just being able to generate free value so like yeah so um recruiter and i actually like the Razor Beast too is just an overrun card. Hmm. That could be a like both sure. those. What do you think about the Perforos Intervention? It's pretty good. It's a removal spell that can also just you know dome them. Yeah, I like it. I I could see that. We could use another removal spell. Um, I also like. I I would probably take the Razor, but yeah. Also with these, yeah, the Razor has some great synergy and really can finish the game. Relevant fetch land is relevant. Mmm. Spicy. Yeah, I think we can. Like, obviously, the razor is nowhere near as good as. Um, Crater. Crater. But with Frostfang, it's kind of nice because you get Trample Death Touch. So, yeah, I'll take the Foothills. I think I like Also, let's search up our Bayou for two mana less than the Dismember. Yeah. So, this looks like a really good linear game plan that, like, they, mm -hmm. uh, they have to disrupt this and they can't. It's like, it, we don't make it easy for them. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. That looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, Lifecrafter's Beast Series is also very good. Just gains you so much card advantage and so much... But as, like, we, it, it, as we have this also, maybe the champion? True. Cool. Although it can't attack. Well, I don't know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what? We no, can't need holy there. cow. Like, this happens all the time. Uh, Although I like this card a lot, but that was a... That was sad. No, I, I think we like Beast Whisper here, right? Oh, sure. Beast Whisper is really good. Getting some nice value. Yeah, it, it's also like, in a, in a deck like this, when you're competing with blue, 
and black uh, colors like that. And that's why I like the beast chair as well. Being able to refill your hand as well as having lots of relevant beats. Oh, there we go. We got we got the Shana, Fauna Shaman and the um, Captivator. Hmm. Would you like better? Maybe the two drop just for curve consideration. No, I like that guy. Let's take let's take the four drop. Okay, sure. He's going to do some work. I have Spite Mare for the sideboard, sure. If you guess you play deck. against that deck, the, the combo deck. Ooh, we got mm. the Signet back. Holy moly. Ring ding ding. <laughs> so you might want to pick up some more burn. Hopefully. I guess it's just this guy. Oh, cool. You got both back. I think uh, as we already have this guy, maybe take the intervention? I think we want the Orc Pirate. All right. Actually, no, I guess, yeah, take the intervention. Take the intervention. All right, cool. We'll take an early removal spell to clear the way for. Her. It's not like those X spells again are not as good with the devils. In fact, mm. devils might be more of a sideboard plan at this point. But being able to clear the way for our things are pretty good. Yeah, true. Yeah, we have two X spells. And the spells, pirates so. nowhere near as good as Zell's conscripts. Okay, we can take a sacred foundry. That lets us fetch for the for Knight of Autumn actually. Maybe. Yep. 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 Uh, yeah, and we, and we also have the Boros Signet, so maybe that's a better plan than Devils. We don't. Yeah, let's. We again, both those can be sideboard options too, right? Of course. We don't need. Uh, we don't need to to make that call yet. But yeah, Knight of Autumn. I mean, yeah, Knight of Autumn is very good. We do have Crater. Ooh, oh. we <laughs> there we go. It was meant to be. Thanks, Magic. That was nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, oh my. Cobra. A quadruple cascade. That's also insane. Yeah, it's just silly. That's just a silly Billy. I mean, 10, um, ten yeah. mana is maybe a little bit a lot. It's a lot of mana, but quadruple cascade is kind of cool. But yeah, Lotus Cobra seems great for us. That's the guy that's that exactly... rocks. Big rocks for two damage. <laughs> yeah. How are those rocks doing so much damage? It's got no quite an arm. Yeah, let's take that Lotus Cobra and be happy. Um, that's really fitting the fitting the plan quite well. Yeah, we also have a fetch land already. Which yep. Is cool. That's the incubation druid. I think we have. Yeah, we already have a little bit of ramp. Like we have three ramp. Yeah, spells. we have four ramp spells already. Um, oh, four with the goose. So <laughs> yeah, course is not bad. Um, just lets us not draw lands which is pretty good um also fiery prophecy is worth considering absolutely but we do have a couple other burn spells already yeah let's grab that nice. let's grab that courser and smooth out our draws yeah right. sin product is good too it probably comes back to us sure. let's see if we can get one more we want one more mana door let's hope to get the original og lenovar then yeah we want the og <laughs> let's go og the five mana five four mana five four tap is pretty good. Over the cavalier. Actually. Yeah, I kinda like the trample here. That's a pretty good rate. And it's also lets yeah. us cast like our big spells way more consistent. Right, exactly. And also lets us cycle through our deck. Arab okay. Mesa. Arab Mesa, another fetch for our uh, Lotus Cobra, not too shabby. And it also lets us pr cast the Knight of Autumn yep. pretty reliably then. There is an Ahiri worth mentioning, maybe. All right, let's go with Eric Mesa, though. Oh. Yeah, so Chain Lightning, and we're happy about it. Perfect. Yeah, this this deck is shaping up. Oh, almost the Rakdos, um, the Rakdos land is also worth considering. The bounce one. I think Chain Lightning is better. Mm -hmm. So that 2-1 is quite good. That's actually. pretty insane. Yeah, being able to go, like, this Eel guy, Hog, Razor. This guy, oh my god. Right. Being able to go like turn three razors, like silly good. That seems so nice. And get some people dirtling around with like bond value. Damn, they're gonna have right. a bad time. What does that two three do? Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever another creature enters battlefield under control, these two damage. Oh, well, that's really good, right? Except for peeing here. And also with that's... war boss. I oh yeah, know. war boss is not good. That's yeah, true. I don't Ooh, know. dinosaur. Oh yeah, that's a dinosaur. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we don't play the raptor, you're right, with the yeah. and it's not that good. Dinosaur is very good, though. All right. That card gets even better in this format for obvious reasons. Uh, I like the Tago. It's just kind of a cool card I've never played with before. Let's go. Oh, Sin Protector and Prophecy came back to us. I actually want to play with this devil. 
I never get a chance okay. to play with, and it seems so spicy. I don't know. It's better in a format like this where CMC is higher. All right, so let's go with that. Maybe the Immortal Sun at this point because we are okay. so aggressive. Sure. What do you think? Let's cut that. I think the Perforos' intervention is a good sideboard card. All right. Let's take the Eat. Electro Dominance. All right, sure. Not playing any of these probably, but the dragon's kind of our color. Close. We don't have that many legendaries, but... Well, we have quite a bit, but it's still so slow. Well, it's not that slow. Let's count the legendaries we have, because like it can be a 4 mana 6-6 six, six Vigilance and can fetch other legendaries. I guess we have five other ones. Oh, six. Ooh, okay. Six. I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe it's just a dream. No, that's pretty good, actually. Let's so that's try it out. Three more cuts. Maybe Electro Dominance. So Electro Dominance, for sure. I don't love the four mana three three. All right. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe the Captivating Crew is a sideboard card. Mm-hmm. And then let's add some basics. Seven, six. We don't want to swamp. Maybe go yeah, seven, 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 seven split. Sounds good to me. All right. All right. Let's get a trophy. So, one question. Um. So how do you, how do you use like self confidence, uh, in Magic? Like, how do how do you think it affects your gameplay? Um, and how do you manage it? Like, if you have a big tournament or something, like how do you push yourself up, or do you do that, or do you ever think about it? Yeah, for sure. Like, um, for example, the last tournament I prepared for was actually the Cube tournament. Um at SCG Con or whatever and uh oh my gosh, we're just gonna run over them this game. Yeah, Holy that, moly. That's so strong. <laughs> Turn three fang. Oh my gosh. Um Hasty Fang, which I was card. Uh yeah, basically like uh if there's a big especially if it's a limited tournament, um the thing that helps me the most to get my confidence where I feel like it should be is just preparation. Mm -hmm. Just put in the homework. Um, I also like to make sure, like, I exercise and I eat well and I try to get a good sleep and not be out all night the night before. Um, so those are things that are helpful to me. Um, but, yeah, I think it has a big effect on your gameplay, like any other competition. Mm -hmm. So, like, the, the the thing you mentioned, like, with exercising and eating well, so that's an interesting point, actually. Yeah, how about you? I also make sure to to eat good, actually, like, for real. Like, I think, like, um, it was Reed Duke, I think, that mentioned this once. And he said something about, like, energy levels you have throughout the day. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he was mentioning that also, like, he, he that, that he makes sure that he, he's fed well, actually. Because, like, the nutrition is, like, the chemical energy that you need to concentrate and focus, right? Right, exactly. Okay, so, wow, that's so exciting. Like, this draw is pretty cool. Yeah, this is a good draw. So, what do we want to do? So we're going to sack our 2-1 so into Foul Fang. That's going to happen for sure, right? Yep. And then we're going to Chain Lightning. Actually... I think we should. I think we could do it. Uh, we could also fight it away. I, I don't know what's Yeah, we could just it. fight it. But now they can't replicate the thing. And maybe we can get a big swing in and kill them with the Primal Might. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think we just Chain Lightning it. Primal Might will be helpful later. Actually, no, no. I think, I think we wanna. I think we wanna primal might. Let's just primal might it to death. All right. For mana efficiency's sake, because this way we're getting a huge discount. Nice. Because for the same to to be able to knock out something with three toughness, we'd have to spend four mana. Oh wait, never mind. I guess we wouldn't, huh? Anyway, I think it's still more mana efficient, cheaper. Nice. Draw a nice it begins. Set. Nice forest, so next turn we can play Beast Whisperer. Maybe get another card, like we almost for sure get another card draw here, right? Yeah, see the, the power of the Fang, like oh, a personal yeah. Howling Mine is always great, but being able to do it multiple times is just smack dab, delicious. Just so much value, so much free value. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's jam a Beast Whisperer. All right. And again, Ooh. oh my, how dare. That's disgusting, man. How dare. But they can't do anything about the Frost Fang so far. Yeah. Hopefully they leave it on the board still. Ooh. <gasps> well, no. kind of slowed down here. 
<clears throat> no, there are two main car draw outlets. Oh man. All right. I guess we're making food. Yeah. <laughs> making the food. I'm just doing it now. Sure. We can even fetch now. We're not gonna use the mana for our Lotus Cobra. Yeah. Better to think. Let's get another red source. Mm -hmm. All right. What do we want to see? Prime time, right? Mm -hmm. Prime time off the top. Definitely. Right, bro. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, they're doing the same thing. Oi. Yeah, they're doing that, so we want to be doing to them. Holy cow, that's strong here. Well, apparently we should have not goosed. We would have saved a life by blocking. Yep. Oh, well. Get a mountain. All right, go, go, gadget prime time. Easy prime time. No land. Nice. That's a drop. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. All right. Wait, so... don't play land, don't play land, don't play land, don't play land. Ah, oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And then, do we need equip? How much does it cost to equip? Equip one. It's pretty strong. All right, so let's equip the goose and shoot the rabble, the uh, rabble dabble, right? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, we could chain lightning, I suppose, but we can also just. Hold on to the chain lightning and play and play a force and rocket next turn too. Kinda like it. I mean, we have the goose and we have food, so like that's as long as we can deal with the things with our resources, maybe that's better. Right. I can't even read all that text, but it looks like it's doing so, something yeah. nasty. Beginning of your upkeep, except the top card of your library, you may play the card this turn. Okay, so this grows over time. Okay, so we're definitely gonna want to shoot that. We mm -hmm. want to rock and chain lightning that card. Yep. Seems seems good. It's a good thing we didn't use our, our chain lightning. Okay, so let's go for that. And equip the rock to the goose. No, let's, let's rock up the other guy, right? Yeah, sure. Have him throw it so we can Makes make another sense. food. Bloop. Nice. Nice and that then... he doesn't have double red up here. Yeah. And then we can, <laughs> at the end of their turn, make another food and we have another rock to throw. <laughs> This card is actually shape. strong here in this matchup. Yeah, it's doing great. It has done a lot of work already. It's already worth... Oh my oh gosh. My gosh. <laughs> well, we're gonna need bigger rocks. Yeah. So let's block the gobbo. Tech goose at all costs. Yeah. Alright, and then we'll make a food. Nice. And I guess we can crack Five, one also. Yeah, we can crack one. Okay. All right. Oh my God. What is this? Perfect. I mean, at least we get rocks all the time. Yeah. Hopefully they're not getting angels. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we now they're getting a lot of angels. Imagine if just one Legion Warboss was on the battlefield. Yeah. Good thing we got a rock tosser. All right. So it's going to happen now. Nice. We can make and eat a food. Oh, uh, whoops. I've oh no! Blundered. Alright. Actually, I guess we just attack with that guy, right? And then equip to the goose? Sure. We have a lot of mana anyways. <clears throat> yeah, just... we have to pressure them and like... I mean, this right. can go phase two. Yep, that's true. So maybe we can, uh, but they also have a food. Just Let's no see, tokens. They... Just like just no tokens, man. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they don't have like the five mana one one that makes servos block, and then they have a sweeper. They might just not care. Uh huh. In this case, we make a food. Make right? a food. Yeah, and then eat a food. Nice. I guess we can eat the other food. We're not gonna use the mana. True. Man, nice. that was Ooh. finally something. Okay, so let's now make... we're cooking with turkey. Let's make another rock, because why not, right? Yeah. Why not? And a rock and around the clock. Two finally, minutes. a good draw here. Let's equip that rock and swing for two. To the goose again. Why not? So both on the goose. Bah. 
Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Oh, right. The goose is rocking it. Maybe at this point we Over. just let the goose throw the rocks into the face. <laughs> yeah. We need them to brick maybe one more time. Like, if, if they brick one more time this turn, I think we have it in our pockets. Yeah, we can goose their goblin. Okay, that's... Oh, that's tokens. Looks like tokens. That's the man of a token. Uh, no! Okay, that's pretty strong. So they get eight angels? Or four angels? Oh, yikes. Okay, we can, in response, kill it, but should we do that, maybe? Sure. Hmm. How are we going? Phase... Well, it's better to kill it because it's a blocker. Sure. I guess they, yeah, kill the gobble. It's fine. Was... Ay. Okay, four, four, fours. Not the worst. I mean, maybe we can get something really saucy off the top of their deck. Yeah, I guess we have. Like we to. get a prime time with some sort of. Oh yeah. I guess oh, we fetch. Right on time. I guess we fetch because like that's oh no that's sixteen damage and we are not dead okay okay so let's yeah let's fetch and thin our deck out I like it because it doesn't really change the math here right so many oh so my oh my how much lands. better would that have been so we swing with that tally right so there's no way about yep. that and if they block with two angels we can kill two of them wins with teeth, teeth and forest oh come on. So, there's not much mana left in our deck here. Ah, oh, that's pretty annoying, actually. Yeah, we have three left. Yeah, so we just shoot one. So that happens. We really needed that dinosaur to hit for us. Yeah, that was important for us. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Two lands is just so rough. Yeah, I mean, the draws have been pretty underwhelming. Okay, hit us from nine down to eight. Which is 11 with a food. Okay. <laughs> That's something. Okay. So we can shoot one angel here. They're at 11, so like if we can top deck out of ourselves out of this, maybe? Like there's. It's yeah, awesome. like we definitely. We're not dead. Mm -hmm. Although the final shaman makes it harder because they can mm -hmm. get more creatures to generate tokens with it. Oh god, I mimic mean, that. That makes it hard. Although it's non token creature. Oh, cool. It could be ours also. Yeah, it could be our Pia. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, we can't shoot the Fauna Shaman, right? Like, we're dying to the angels so fast. Yeah. Bummer. Bummer. Angel of Angel Intervention. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Oakley Doakley. Well, we're probably sideboarding him in at uh, Night of Autumn. Yeah. Seems like a good idea. Okay, so no damage this turn. That's an absolutely hilarious. Oh my gosh, so much land. So like, We had three yeah. lands left in our deck and we drew one of them out of 16, 17 cards. That was crazy. Well, Knight of Autumn is gonna get in there. Let's take out Primal Might. Alright. Gosh, if we had one forest, don't think we can keep be it. Unstoppable. We're on a play, so let's mow. Okay. Oh. I guess we keep ship mountain. Yeah, let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, we have. Ah, oh, we have two landfallers. Dang it. E three, yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. It probably wouldn't. It's statistically unlikely to come up. Okay. Sure. That gives us four, five. Well, that's really good if we can get it into the. If we can go for that into the long fang, that's good. So... We could fetch up the white red land, I suppose, so we oh, don't yeah. take two damage later. That's a good call. More oh, land. Well, again, if we can get the Pia and Kieran into the Frost Fang, we are in business. Absolutely. Like, drawing these two cards, Katie, Gavagil Goose, so that's one card less for us. Nice. Although, if they block with the Goose, we still have Death Touch. Ah, oh, true. So that's not... Where were you, Signet? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, you were late to the party here. Okay, so let's jam the pier, right? Mm-hmm. Just have to. 
Got a bolt for it. Yep. Or a braid or whatever. Hmm. It's fine. It's actually okay. <laughs> Play your own here. That is a kick in the shins. <laughs> Absolutely. Oy vey. Well, now we play the 6-6, six, six, right? Yeah, seems like a good call. Hopefully draw a prime time with it. So our next turn could be pretty juicy. Yeah, next turn could be good. I don't think you offered a trade here. Corsair, nice. So we can go Signet into Frostfang. Okay. They're holding on to a lot of mana. So also with the Thopters, right? Oh yeah, and with the... Yeah, Not and with the Corsair too. With everybody. Okay, so everybody. we have... One Legend. Legend here. Corsair or something. Okay, they just trade. That's actually good for us. Yeah, that's great. Oh, nice. Some draws. Oh, the Itali. Oh, that's gonna be so nice next time. But it doesn't oh get the gosh. trigger. It doesn't get the trigger, sadly. But it is one more legend. What's that? Six mana? Seven? Ugh. Eight? Oh, seven? Oh my card. gosh. <laughs> that's it. pretty good. That's good, but maybe we can... We have just a lot of damage here. Honestly. Yeah. I think we... Just swinging with everyone, like with these three, right? So they, they already have to jump this. Yeah, let's play Corsair and see what's on top. Good idea. Before we draw any cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so yeah, we'll swing, hit them with the Naftali or whatever it's called. Gain two life. Yep. Oh, I love this boar. Yeah. So sweet. Boar is doing a lot of work. So they have to block the Naftali here, the dinosaur. Good, nice, Take nice. Launch. Ooh, and there we go. Land. There's a land. Pretty nice. Oh, and the gobble. Awesome. So do we want it on top or do you want to fetch it away? I think we fetched away because we have five mana to play with. So we just like, curve up. The only way we're going to get really punished is if they have a, uh, whatchamacallit. Board wipe? Yeah. <laughs> but I think they don't, they don't, right? They just don't. Yeah, probably not. And plus, we still have Naftali, whatever it's called. Ah, I have to resolve this. Mm hmm. All right. Here we go. Don't kill our dinosaur with your Star of Extinction, or whatever it's called. I mean, there's not a lot that which can get them out of this here. Not a lot. Mm hmm. And they also played too many creatures. Like, they play Great Henge, and then they would play Star of Extinction. I hope they don't do that. <laughs> Nice. Maybe we take Sin Prada out on the draw and play a removal spell for it? What do you think? Sure. I like it. Spite Mirror is an interesting card against them too. Makes the combat myth horrible for them. Right. If we play Spite Mirror, we might want to play Primal Might. Yeah, that's a combo I like. Maybe right. we take out the 2 4. The 4 yeah. mana 2 4. Yeah. Absolutely on board with that. That's, that's a little bit too cute overall, I think. That looks good. We get a turn three, five, four trample dude. Actually, <clears throat> we're probably gonna what what we might be able to do is go turn one gilded goose, turn two, two one, turn three, haste up our five four, and then play the forest primal might, eat their thing, swing for five, discard, you know, whatever. Do that. Mm. Get they going. Never didn't have it. <laughs> yeah. Signet, okay, so that's something we could consider discarding. Yeah, turn three we can start snapping if we want. Might want to kill the final shot in. Yeah. But yeah. Not mad at that. So let's get down the signet and the thing, right? Or do we just want the thing? Hmm. I think signet into thing seems good. Yeah, let's go signet into thing. Seems pretty good. Wow, like I I enjoy playing this deck. That that's a whole lot of fun to pilot. That's pretty pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that two one is bonkers good. This too. is crazy. It's really sick. Yeah, that card is is especially good in a format like this. That should go up up by a lot of notches. Uh, 
it's it's always pretty good but it's even in some ways it's even tastier in a deck like this where you have to like kind of go Ouch. under that sucks oh no but we still get to play the mayhap yeah it's not, it's not hasty though not hasty oh it's that like been they so tasty. are really copying our plan here i know stop copying us bro <laughs> yeah man what's what's wrong with you make some noise yeah <laughs> try to make some you know, of your own plays oh there we go fetch with the gabo That's so let's good. just play the five four but next turn we can uh nope we can yeah next turn we can next turn we can right? do some pretty spicy stuff actually right yeah play this we can play this. gabo fetch make and then frost rows. and then primal might and or or we can play gobble fetch hold on to primal might shoot their goose or shoot their shoot their two 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 we also get mana mm. yeah i think we want to shoot their two two yeah this is getting kind of kind of scary at some point okay for uh -oh. drop i got for five doubling season oh my yeah we need to shoot that two two. Oh yeah uh-oh that's scary. All right. That is a problem. Okay, okay so, so goblin into fe oh, goblin to fetch line, right? So we want to keep up the primal might just in case, I think. Okay, so goblin fetch land into I guess doesn't really matter. I guess our white land and take the extra damage, maybe, or just another red land and save two life. Yes, yeah, so red land. Just a I think save. so oh, because we have the. Mountain. Signet already also. Yep, and then we equip our goose and we shoot their critter with the goose. So if they can't fetch up the five mana, what should we call it? Then we attack, Boom. sack our mountain, and then mountain equips the rock with the goose. And we get to draw a card. That was a really good turn. Yeah. So much happening. Ooh, and a spike there. Onto the goose. All right. Goose or the goblin? I think goose, right? Sure. Because they probably want to attack with the other one. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Although All they right. do get to produce double food. Their cafeteria is working overtime. <laughs> the goose Absolutely. is loose. No! <sighs> How dare Tony Blair. Dang it. They just bang, bang, banged in their chicken wing. <laughs> All right, so let's goose. Let's shoot it right now. Well, I mean, yeah, it's. I think I'm... it's a done data at yeah. this point, but let's just make sure they don't do nothing else with their mana. Okay, force their hand with the double food. Nice. And then I guess we attack first, just in case. Mm -hmm. But I kind of want to hang on to both the Beast and the Spite Mare here. Uh, what do you yeah. think? I don't think we want to discard anything, do we? Maybe the I kind of like both. Actually, maybe... Although this guy just got trampled, and like maybe we can lethal swing with the primal might on him. Yeah, let's discard the Beastmaster. Now that I'm thinking about it, actually. Right. Sure. Sorry, because they only have one card left. It's probably not a sweeper. And now we can play the Spite Mare, and then we will have Spite Mare with Primal Might for the backup, for like Plan B or whatever. That could okay. Be pretty good. I don't think they can get out of this. I hope. <clears throat> Yeah, because even if they have a sweeper, that's if it, as long as it's like one that deals damage, we still get to bink them with the with the spite mare. Okay, so that should be game. Yep, we get to primal might it. Oh, even dismember it. Dismember it. All but right. primal might kills them, so we'll do that. Let's go primal might for it. Okay. Let's swing for twelve. Here we are. Nice. Yeah. All right. Got him. One down, two to go. Ba -bow, ba -bow. Bam. Is All this right. okay on your timing? It's six thirty there, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. I can fight okay. through this. <laughs> I don't get a chance uh, to do uh, drafts like this uh, with you very often, so I wanna make full advantage of it. So, Sounds good to me. Do you wanna sport this out of your main deck and maybe bring in something else? Uh sure. Let's try the spite mare. Spite Mare seemed pretty nice, yeah. Yeah, that card's cool with Primal Might. Plus, like, 
there's it's Spidemare's a card to show off for a video like this because it's quietly it quietly has a lot of extra uses that it doesn't it, it it's better than it looks absolutely um, although i like trying out new cards and i haven't really played with that too far and the art is really sweet okay let's go or maybe even, oh, just, oh okay maybe even beast whisperer like spidemare over beast whisperer no, Beast Whisperer is fantastic. It's too good, okay. Yeah, I like this hand. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, so let's keep it around. They mold to six. Okay, yeah, hopefully they play a bird so we can both on turn one. But yeah, the the um three two guy. And also like our crater hoof, I think is a warrior. The the goblin I think is a warrior, right? Oh yeah. Can't That's really see. Cool. Yeah. So like the the value train gets to start pretty quickly with that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we bolt the bird, which they're gonna play. Crater Maker into Najila. It's like, it's insane. We played on Najila, we attack with the Crater Maker, and it's already a wrong one, right? Oh, wrong birds. Now we can't bolt that. Okay. So we just pass him. Mm hmm. So yeah, it's it is it it's great to make it into Najila, right? We guess we don't have to show them green or green yet. I don't think there's any benefit to them not knowing green. All right. So, like, they, I don't know what they could how they could play around it, but yeah. But I guess it doesn't matter either way. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, what is yeah, on? but that goblin does a lot of work. That card's also quietly one to watch for in this format. Um, being able to like bank their four mana artifacts that produce multiple mana, or like being able to like bank their like one one blink creature. What is this? Oh Metamorph. <laughs> wow, okay. I mean okay. I take it. We'll take it. <laughs> That's like the opposite of rate. Yeah. So we have an option here. I think we kind of just huh. want to chain lightning their thing and then play our hasty thing yeah that's a good call because like if we draw um just a sun like just a titan we can just play it next turn right and also um if we don't and we just play nigella they block our one one and then they bank our three two and we don't really get any value out of it yeah it's also nice because with the nigella we can like attack and then sack our 2-2 two -two to blow up like a blocker or something if we need to which is kind of cool so you would just would you just always sack this for Njila haste um it does grant us an additional 1-1 one -one and lets us hit right away Ooh, Oof. that's strong well, luckily we have an answer to that wow. and like I said before oh, oh this hopefully is they're so good but they might just be making something with all that mana. Ugh. That's scary. But yeah, that's exactly the type of four mana artifact that produces extra mana I was talking about. Hey, here we go. <laughs> there she is. Yep. So okay. I guess we're going to play Nigella. Wait, let me think about the mana. Okay, so I think uh, we have to blow it up here for sure. Yeah, I guess we just play Nigella and blow play Nigella, attack with Swing the goblin, and and mm -hmm. attack the other thing, blow it up before blockers. Wait, 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 wait. Undo, undo. Okay. I think we just play Nigella for three. Oh, okay. So I got that wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, we don't need it, right? In this case, no. can we just... Oh, yeah, we... no, we need that mana. Yeah, okay, okay, now I'm on board. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. <laughs> All right, then we attack, but before blockers are declared. Mm -hmm. So attack, attack, yep. With both, oh, with both. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, I messed up. Well, All right, and then we're going to blow up their thing. So we can do it now, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, two, so get him two down points to of damage. That's. And next turn we get to swing with multiple warriors, which is pretty cool. But hopefully we'll draw a titan and we can give haste. Or oh god, this card big... is way better than I thought. Yeah, that card's really good. <laughs> it also counts other tokens. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. They never play. Yeah, that's weird. All that mana. Okay, so I guess we can. Signet into. Wait, this. wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. Let's think about this. We can. We'll play. Attack with both. Okay, this is the line. 
Let's attack both our warriors first. So not with generator. Right, now with that. Correct. Okay. I'm curious. What are you up to? <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be making a big daddy fatty soon. And then after blockers. So we tap that for two mana. Ah, so we fetch this turn. No, 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 no fetch this turn. We tap that for two mana, play the 2-4. Or the 2-4 the version, whatever that was. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. And then we'll play the Signet, and then we'll play our Mountain, and activate this turn. Right? Ah, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was uh, thinking. Like, that, that was was what I meant by fetching. It's like, it was a wrong term, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I was just going to say, keep. maybe we can hold on to our fetch land, because... We have stuff that activates with it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I was just using the term so wrong. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Ah, so this is what you had in mind. Pretty cool. Nice line. Let's let's see if we can find a legendary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. and then we got the thing with the fetch line. Because now we get yeah. to get... Now the next turn, that guy gets to be a big daddy fatty. Well, even if they do have good stuff, we're still pretty resilient. Like, we're still making two rocks and have a 2-2 two -two next turn in there at nine so like even if they shoot the board here yeah like we're still not we're, we're still not out of the woods i mean we're still not dead they're still not out of the woods okay so what does this card do it sweeps the board except for it leaves the angel oh my god that's really good so we, you have to vote for the same thing it doesn't matter if they tie they get their way dang it that was strong so they played that land that's interesting that probably means they got something something for us Play the Goblin and then play the Aired Mesa. And we can get our... I guess it doesn't matter what land we get because we don't have the whatchamacallit. Just... And I would fetch I would fetch with the Aired Mesa right now too. For... For the F6 value. Oh, sure. Do we just equip it also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's holding on to all those rocks. Just another creature, so we can shoot down the angel. But it's like we can take over the like we can ping their face also at some point. That was pretty disgusting. Yeah, that angel's really good. Ooh, that's scary. Oh my! All right, that's a problem. Yep. <laughs> we have to be fast here. That's a problem. That's also an artifact that produces man that we want to blow up. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we have a land in hand, which means we get an additional rock value. Okay. So we play that. Play the land, double, triple equip. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. That's eight right. damage right there. That's six damage right there. Maybe if we hurry up. Uh, we need something like a glory bring in this deck to make it perfect. Yeah, glory bring would be good. Oh no! Oh. Okie dokie. All right, we go to the next one. Yeah, I think. Kind of right. Let's let's see. let's see. Maybe there is like a draw. We can do it still. Or... They get to shoot our rock maker. Mm. Do we we have the creature that lets us steal their creature, right? Ah oh, yeah, captivating crew. Or what? Oh, I I can't remember what it's like... called, but I think that's right. So let's just see what we draw. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can. I can see it here. Yeah, we have to captivate and crew on the sideboard, I think, unfortunately. But we're gonna bring it in against them. I. Th we could. Yeah. Right, like. Let's just could. let's just see what we draw. Make sure. Oh nope. Okay. All right, next one. That does work. Mhm. Mm so they had a lot of artifacts, I think. Yeah, definitely. We want that. I think we actually take the dismember and the primordial out. Out of primordial. Ah, oh, sure. Green sure. fireball. Maybe we rock the other one, the one that blows up their artifact or enchantment. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, also. Yeah, seems good to me. Yeesh. Let's mulligan in this one. <laughs> I don't oh. think we can keep these. Holy moly! What the? F okay, that okay. looks. Good. Let's keep this. has so... potential. I mean, you can get I rid guess of the signet. Ditch the signet and the chain lightning? Like, we can't. Yeah, we're on a play. We can't go with two lander, right? 
No, because that Thassa's is the the uh, whatever is going to be the one that takes over the game. That three mm -hmm. two. All right. This doesn't matter. Mm hmm. Whew. Okay. Now your colors. So oh, that's nice actually. Yep. So let's. We get a fetch line off the over. top. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We get to live it. Come on. Fetch land, boom. Okay. Oh, nice. Spicy. So what first? Maybe Nahila first. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Still have to play the land. So we leave red up, I suppose. And let's switch. Yeah, I like Nahila first because I also think War Boss is a better like, like Nahili scales up better. But also, this early in the game, but also War Boss is a better out of a sweeper. So you mean after they sweep, it's like it's better to have the War Boss? I think so. Ugh. Oh, that's not good. Oh man. my gosh. It's like just the blocker here. Okay, land. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, yeah, we jammed the Ilharg, right? Yeah. Don't think we can do anything else here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay. Wait, what is what is this card's ability again? Does it have another ability? It does something, I Untap think. all attacking creatures. They can trample, lifelink, and haste. After this phase, uh, not really. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, but... I was going to say, because we have we can generate a mana, a woo bird, but never mind. Play the take. That was a pretty good heads up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we still have to fetch, unfortunately. And But we can play it tapped, so that's good. Yep. Uh, okay. We'll put this in our way, so we don't attack. Hmm. Nope. Not this turn. Come on, prime time. Yeah. A removal spell would also be pretty sweet. Too red. What is this? Pia. An X spell. Oh. Ugh. It's this. Golly. That's pretty good. Oh, this spell pretty is pretty good. Very good in their deck, also. Okay. It's just a great card, yeah. Ooh. Now we draw the Chain Lightning? Okay, so I guess we just attack with everything. Put the Warbles into play, even? Yeah, and then Chain Lightning there. Because we, they're at 18 life, so we just have to take care of that Crystal and Crawler. Yeah, before they we just put anything too scary in play. And we just want to keep... So if we do that, then we get through with 3 damage. And they block our war. Hold on, let's. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say they'll block our war block, block from here. Get through a three, so nine puts them to nine. But then we take other thing. Yeah, this seems fine. The crystal and crawler, and and like ta like knocking them off of four mana is totally worth it here. Yeah, so they're down to nine, but we still have the trampler. And at this point, we're so low on resources, we just have to go for it. Let's shoot mm -hmm. them down. They're thinking if they want to spend the two mana, the two red mana back, which they can do. Yeah, they but can... then we can knock out their other blocker. Oh, they spend oh the sweet. Red. Okay, cool. So we get to kill their other creature. Awesome. Well, that worked out. We'll trade our cobra for your two four. Okay. So is it? Can I still do it? Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. Well, that was uh... it, that was so good. Bank air in our favor. Why did they I... do this? How did they do this? Like, how can this be good? Maybe I don't know, but we still get a six-six trap. <laughs> All right, we're hell bent. <laughs> but as long as they don't get their stupid angel, they don't have black mana. Uh -oh. they have? Okay. No. We get, we get one we're turn. Get them down to just a creature. Two just life. A creature. We need a hasty creature. Uh... Oh, not you. Okay, let me swing first. Well, the good news is the angel doesn't kill our hawk. It doesn't exile it, so we get to put it. You know, we still get a big trampler out of it. True, and also like this even comes back if you get if you exile it, which is right. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. Hilarious. Oh yeah, that's what he said. Okay, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. No, no, exactly. That's that, yeah. That's just what I meant. Then it doesn't exile it, so it's still. Has the chance to come back and do something. 
Oh, they didn't get a black mana though. Okay, maybe they don't have a swamp. Let's play it signet and rock and roll. Okay. What kind of burn spells do we have? Can we do? Ah, oh, yeah, we can rock. Okay, nice, we got him. Perfect. All right. Oh, that was pretty. On good. the mall. That was like all in. <laughs> just, we yeah, just... we had to go all in there. We we're just so far behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's also something worth mentioning, right? So mm -hmm. there is a point in the game where you just. It's like it's it's got no use anymore playing around things and like trying to play it carefully. You just have right. to take the risk, right? Yeah, it's like if you stall, you're gonna fall. You know, when you're that far behind in material, you gotta race for tempo. Mm -hmm. Because once they get a time to stabilize, then they're just gonna, you know. Although they made a significant misplay, not banking our critter. I mean, banking our trading our critters there. Absolutely, the the lightning was very bad, also. Right, I think so. I mean, I don't know what's in their hand, but what do I... you think about like these removal spells and captivating crew? It's like, is is there something you would change here, or would you just run it back like as it is? Maybe sin prodder on the draw again. Yeah, we could take out sin prodder, put in a primal might, Looks or good. dismember. Yeah, let's try that. All, all right. right, all right, that works. <laughs> We're in business. We don't have to mull the four or to oblivion or whatever. Yeah. This will do. This will do, pig. This will do. Let me ask you, what do you think about the comparison of magic to chess and poker? Yeah, I, I've heard that a lot, are, you know, coming up. And yeah, I mean, there's elements of poker where you have hidden information and kind of a bluffing element. And there's the complexity of chess where, but instead of having a handful of pieces on the board, you know, there's, you know, you have way, way, way more pieces, and they all affect the game in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I think Magic is the best game ever made, and Cube is the best Magic ever made. So I'm always happy when Cube is up. I can never disagree to that. Ugh. Oh, that's sad. That is rough. Uh, Boy. Oh, that was a, actually a good top deck, or one of the yeah. better ones. So let's jam that. Um, for me, it's interesting because sometimes, like in a game of Magic, like um, the variation or like the dimension from chess to poker can change. So at first you play poker and then you thought sees Ooh, nice. and it's chess after that point, right? Mm -hmm. So you thought sees and after that you were trading like you were playing chess and your opponent still plays poker. <laughs> yeah, having having their information revealed is huge. Okay, okay, we're in business. What is this? That card's mean? really good, but we're we're kind of in business. So we'll play the fang, just hope for the best and forget the rest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what you do with Gruul, right? You just jam yep. it and... Just jam. Jam on. Let's hope they don't have an angel. We've got angel mana. That 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 uh, three mana artifact's fantastic. Mm. It does everything. Binding. Oh no, it's even worse. Oh, are you serious? Oh boy. It's an angel that draws, that ramps them. No. Oh my gosh, this is the this is the this is the problem with Gruul. Yeah, it's like no ca building card, it's selection or advantage, or like yeah, it's advantage well, but not really. Yeah, that Fang was supposed to do it for us, but. Mm -mm. Yep. Oh my god. What the hell? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. We're in business. Let's leave the red up. Okay, so we can get both our fetch lines if we want. That looks good, right? Because we don't ever want to draw land again. So they do have infinite mana mm. and five up to six or up to five cards in their hand. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. What the hell? Eldrazi. Okay, it's Emrakul. Cool. Well, I guess we let that happen. Yeah, I guess so. It's pretty bad. It's it's pretty game over. Let's be real. <laughs> it's pretty bad. We're not in great shape. Yeah, that's that's probably too good. Yeah, that's why I was thinking maybe of the captivating crew, because the Emrakul is game one two, and that, then that's an out. But it's like I guess it's narrow as well. It's yeah, like for example, in this situation, so you need they would to draw it and exactly top deck it because otherwise they just kill it, right? Right. Uh huh. Yep. It had to be Emrakul. Even <laughs> if it was the angel, that's a kick in the shins. 
Yep. Okay. All right, so... Okay. Wait, don't play the land yet. Let's play the 5-4 and think. Oh, wait, I guess it doesn't matter. Never mind, I'm sorry. In this case, yeah, it doesn't never matter. Mind. Yeah, never mind. My bad. I guess maybe, we can play the land. It doesn't matter. Maybe we can um, kind of catch, need to catch them anyway. somehow. <laughs> no, because they're going to switch. Yeah, we never have enough damage. That's the problem. Um... It, they don't get yeah, haste they... also. Hmm. Ugh. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, that's game. They just had it all. And they really had it all. Like they, they, they answered every threat we had. Yeah. Yeah, there's Being nothing. able to bolt our thing early was quite relevant. Mm. Like getting getting two more attacks in with this guy. Before right. The, before the binding takes. Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You got it. Nice. GG's. Damn. Ah, that was a little bit sad. Let's push it through. Okay. That's slow. Yeah, I think we mulligan this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've got a companion. Mm -hmm. No. We have to go to five now. It's okay. We've statistically won all of our mull to fives. So. <laughs> True that. Ship the big one. Yep. And the other big one. Okay. Now we have a play. Let's go. Yeah, well, look at that curve. Two, three, four. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just as easy as that. Okay, cool. So they didn't fetch yet. If someone has a fetch and they played early, it might mean that they want to just get rid of, you know, they want to thin their deck. Ooh, there we go. Should we just nice. go? Do we just do that? I always bolt the bird. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like usually stone rain costs three mana. Stone rain costing one at distance speed is just awesome. Yeah. Okay, land is fine. So yeah. let's go jam the crater maker. Yeah, but those those uh, Karun lands are so good. Like. Again, it's basically like having extra land in your deck. Two lands glued together. Alright. Guess we attack first, maybe. Another Legend of the Top castable one? That would be sick. Imagine a 3 mana 2 3, uh, 3 2 from the top. Oh, chromatic. Okay. All right, but no land drop. So they were short on land. So is it Corsair or the Calvary? I like Calvary here. All right. Because it's gonna get to get pretty big soon, right? Yeah, hopefully. So we could blow up the chromatic lantern. Just want to mention it. And I think we should do that, don't we? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good call. Yeah, never mind. Uh, then we should. Yeah, let's played... attack, attack, cow. Yeah, do that. And then do we should have played. We should have played that first. Yeah, but it don't matter. My bad. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. I mean, if they fail to find land drops, they are just gonna get wrecked by our mulligan to five. <laughs> oh, yeah. I went up in the forest. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Okay, let's just check the numbers. Zuck, zuck, boom. Blowing that one up. Ah, they found the land. Nice. Okay, that's slow. Woo. Yep, and we can bink it right away. Yeah. Nice, no extra value. And they don't have a land in hand, presumably. Oh, nice. Like, we're playing real Ponza here. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's... This third legend actually. Oh, that's all perfect here. So nice. Huh. If you want to blow it up, we can't play the cavalry. Am I right? Yeah, we can. Yeah, play the cavalry right now. Sure. Mhm. Mm Cause this costs two, like one to equip and one to shoot. Oh, you're right. I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But maybe it's still better to get it in play. Also. Yeah, I like it in play. I like being able to kind of pressure their life total. Especially if they've got a bunch of silly in their hand. 
So now we go on the course. Oh, maybe on the gobble. This is the least likely to attack next turn, right? Yeah. All right, and then we. But I would I would attack with both. Yeah. We should have waited on the equip then. But that's a small sequencing mistake. No, it's better because if we can, like, if we could trick them into blocking it for one mana, that'd be great. Ah, yeah. Also true. Oh, yeah. They playing five color and they completely stumbling out. Nice. All right, game one carried away in three minutes. Easy peasy. Pretty nice. Hmm. Night of Autumn seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. Synth proto out maybe. Factory, sacred factory, and mountain out. Kind of like the four. Let's play the four three over the that legend we just had. Let's get the nuts and get a quick two zero. Sure, this works. Because if we hit a land and if we can get our goblin or um warrior maker out, we're just in in, the, in business. Yeah, it can take over the game so insanely fast. Right. So it's the same opening as before. Nice. Follow land. So let's play this tapped. Pass it. Hey. Don't you mirror. Nice. Well, okay. That's slow enough. Works for me. Yep, and we got our double warrior draw. So that's cool. Nice. Sure. Crater man. Coming down. Yeah, we're just gonna get to kind of them over. Good decks. That's the other thing about this. Like I said, it's like you know, you know what kills battle cruisers is like lots of early zerglings and and uh, what you call it. Oh my god, no no land again. All right, they have one. Yeah, that's like exactly our matchup here. Looter scooter is actually pretty good. It is right. Should it's double good with a search. Let's see if we can get something. Hmm. I think we still play the warrior though and just start generating value. Okay, and then next turn we have double remove. Right. It's just such a clock to put on him. Like even here, just swinging for three is, is so good. Just generates so much value right away. Yeah. All right. I mean, next turn, if they don't have some serious removal, we're binking for, like, we're lethal in two turns. And that's the thing, and, and again, like I said, you know, this that's what I was saying before, for these, like, three mana, like, kind of quasi-planeswalkers. Mm -hmm. They just do so much work. They do so much and ask so little. Yeah, and, like, it always feels bad. Like, the, the first time you get value out of it, it already feels bad to remove them, right? Right, right. Oh, and they got a pain land, too? Ooh, that's good for us. Ouch. It's going to tax their time and their life total. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a good place to be in. Okay. Okay, it's not double red, so they can't sweep the board. Is it Omnath, maybe? All right. Oof, good call. Well. Okay, we have a fight for it. If a land, we need a freaking land now. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Beck. Come on. Even if we don't have a land, we're still in pretty good shape. Nice. Hopefully, yes. Oh my god. There gosh. we go. That's pretty strong. Okay, so we just prime fight, prime fight it, right? Yep. With the Najila. We are in business. God damn, that's a lot of damage. Wait, that's game. I'm pretty sure that's game. Well, essentially, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because okay. we're hitting for six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we have Chain Lightning in hand. Oh yeah, yeah, there's no way to get out of this. I can't imagine how. I mean, they had to wipe the board with a Pain Land, and also deal with, like, also have gain, they have to gain life in the process, otherwise we just kill them next turn. Beautiful. Right, and even if they wipe the board, we still bolt them. Yeah, they're at 3, right? That's beautiful. Nice. Well, even the loss we took wasn't like. Yeah, it's... nice. Yeah. Even the loss was uh, close, you mean? It wasn't a total blowout. It was competitive the whole time. And if things go a little bit different, if we get to be on the play, if, you know, it's it's not. We weren't that far off from, you know, a kind of easy 3 0. Yeah, this this deck was pretty, pretty cool. It was like nice to pilot, easy to pilot. Like, not, not that easy, but easy to pilot, I would say, in comparison. 
Mm -hmm. um, yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, that's like it was perfect for the hour of the night, also, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What can I say? I mean, Sinprada, I didn't draw it, but I imagine it's pretty bad on the draw. It's, it's cards like Sinprada are better in this format because it's an average higher CMC. Mm -hmm. That being said, anytime you're like letting your opponent kind of like make your choices, it's mm -hmm. like um, sometimes not as good. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, I was thinking about this also. Like, okay, imagine you have the draw, it's your out, and you have it on top of the library. Sure, they maybe take four or five damage, but maybe they survive through this and mm -hmm. then they kill you. So it's like, it's not a real Bob. It's a, it's a little bit worse still. It's way worse than Bob, but but it's worth exploring. And that's the nice thing about a cube like this is it's like, hey, let's check it out. Let's try things we don't normally do. Let's explore new spaces and... I mean the you know the two four uh, legendary creatures like that's found out it's kind of poopy but it's all right. <laughs> yeah. You know? it's, uh, it's it's about learning. Yeah. So, and I you mean, know if it's good, it's good in this deck, and it was not good, right? <laughs> yeah, it's. You mean I don't think it's great, but it's but you know it's got really cool art and it's worth learning and trying things out. And that's that's kind of the whole deal. So Absolutely. yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Um, and, you know, I, I think this is a really great cube for doing that, for just playing, like, trying silly stuff, trying new things, being willing to do things you normally would never even think about. Yeah. And that's kind of the beauty of this cube, as well as, like, cards you just, you know, you just never come across with it. So, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, um, the design of the cube is really, really cool. Yeah, shout out to David. McDarby and uh, uh, David um, White, the two designers, mm -hmm. uh, fantastic work on both of them, both of their ends. Yeah, it's just it's just a blast. Um, how about you? Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. It was a great draft. Um, it w I, I learned a lot of things. Um, I was so happy okay. to ask you all, all the questions, and I got nice answers. So thanks a lot, Jonathan, for joining me on this and having having these which like it's more than I could dream of and think of. Uh, yeah, Live the Dream Cube was a full, uh, full success for me with you. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Absolutely. Well, appreciate it. And uh, we'll be in touch. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much. And, and keep up the great work. Love your videos. Absolutely. Will do. Thanks a thanks lot. Thanks for having me on. See you. Goodbye.